something came in the mail the other day. I had ordered a Chinese fountain pen from Amazon and I'd ordered it for personal use, but it was so interesting. I thought I had to share it with you guys. So first of all, it came in a bubble wrap mailer, of course, but it also came in this really neat cardboard box that has these die cuts on the side. And inside the box, there is a split. And on one side, there is information and a converter, which I found interesting because the pen I purchased is a piston filler pen. So let's take a moment to look at this pen. And you can check the description below for where to get it yourself. Now, what I found very interesting about it is that, look at this nib. I have never seen a nib like that. First of all, it is super tiny. Um, I guess it's, a, I mean, it kind of reminds me of the descriptions I've seen for the Mickey, the Mickey Falcon, but given that I paid for, uh, I paid under 20 for this pen, there is, <laughs> it is probably nothing like that. And, oh, okay. All right. So you could, if you so wanted, remove the whole piston back end. I think, let's see, how do we get the piston down without unscrewing? Is this like, I feel like it's probably meant to be a lot like the Conrad, which has, do I have my Conrad handy? I do. Okay. So this is the Noodler's Conrad, mine's a little dirty. The back, you can remove the whole piston mechanism and get at it by doing, you just unscrewing that, or you can unscrew this and it will work the piston. So I have a feeling this Chinese pen is probably, probably supposed to be very, very, very similar <laughs> to the Conrad in a lot of ways, maybe not with that wonderful semi-flex nib. Now it looks like up here, there's an O-ring gasket and it looks like we should be able to unscrew it. I'm not having any luck and I don't wanna force it. My concern is I really wanna get this piston down. And I may need to get a registered adult to come help me unscrew these things. Now I've got it so I can't get it back on. I am the champion. Anyway, that's how a piston works. And there's also like a little sleeve in here, I guess to keep it from like leaking or going too far. Hmm. I have perhaps unintentionally ruined this pen. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to try and I think this should just come off if I just screw it in properly, like I just did. Um, come on. Do you just come off? I can't actually tell. Ah, hey, you know what though? I have instructions. I don't know why the heck I am fooling with this when I have instructions that feature a sad onion and then instructions that look like they were copied from the Twisby packaging. And this is not a Twisby pen at all. Hmm. Maybe that's what they're trying to be. Because Twisby is a pretty popular Taiwanese brand and I have a Twisby Eco. Okay, oh, weird. Okay, okay. So, 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 so. We, in order to get this to work, we pull the back up, but not all the way off. And that, that will get the piston. <laughs> it was working, y'all. It was, uh, I have a feeling this is gonna need some silicon grease too to make it watertight. Holding it in place, because it'll twist itself off, that gets the piston to depress. And then once you've filled it again, when you want it to stop, 
you line up, there's these little pegs, which are probably impossible for my camera to catch and you snap it into place. All right, and then we have the frontal bit, which I still can't get undone. I don't know if I'm supposed to. I'm sure you can for cleaning. Anyway, so I think we got that somewhat working and I might go grab my Twisby in a couple minutes, but check out this converter. I have never seen, I'm gonna have to hold on to this, even though this is like clearly not for this pen. Wait, there isn't even an opening. How, what is it? How is it, how does this converter work? Look, <laughs> there's not an opening in the front. So there's maybe this is a cap that you can take off. It's, oh, it is. Hey, that's kind of cool. Okay. All right. So we have a cap and then you use this to depress the plunger. I've never seen, I've never seen a converter like that. Do I have a converter handy? Mm. I have some filled with ink. So this is a jet pen chibi and it is leaky. And you see this, you push it or pull it. So it's just like a typical plunger. There's nothing special about that plunger. And now I'm like, does this pin still work? Cause I left, oh yeah. Cause I left a bunch of iron gold ink in it. Uh, and then the other type of converters I have, I do not have this in here, but this is a platinum converter. It's a screw type converter. So you can see, so you screw the back in order to get the plunger to move kind of like this here. This is like some weird ratcheting thing that you can't even depress all the way. And I'm not even sure if uh, it would be watertight given this part, but you can cap it off for convenience. And the best part in my opinion is it doesn't even fit in the pen they sent it with. Like this doesn't, this is a piston pen. You don't put a converter in a piston, a piston pen. And I don't even know what this would work with. So I'm gonna go grab that Twisby and I'm gonna get this pen cleaned up. Here is my Twisby Eco. It desperately needs cleaning as well. It is also a piston pen. It has come highly recommended. Let's see if it'll work. I haven't used it in a long, oh, beautiful. It works even though I haven't used it in like actual months. What a beautiful pen. Uh, anyway, this is the Twisby Eco. That's the Taiwanese pen I was telling you guys about. And if you love to write and you're interested in fountain pens, this is really what, the one I would recommend. Um, this is the Noodler's Flex. It has a semi-flex nib on it. This one has a stub italic nib, I believe. Both of these are piston fill pens. This one's 20, this one's under 50. This is like 18 and it does not feel like it's really worth 18 bucks, but you know, maybe that's just me and I need to get used to it. However, I am intrigued by that hooded nib and I think the Plunger mechanism is actually pretty cool. So I am going to go, and it also has an interior ring cap, which is nice. Um, it is not, it is not, so you can, it is a screw tight post, unlike, no wait, this one is too. I must be thinking of the Prera or the Cool. Here is a Prera, here is a Cool. Yeah, the Prera has a nice, snug fit and the cool do you yeah the cool does as well so actually to me it looks sort of like a cross between the twisby eco the noodlers conrad and the platinum cool not that there's anything wrong with that. I feel like that makes it kind of different enough, in fact, that it can stand on its own as a fountain pen. And this is the Wing Sun 1618 Toso Piston Fountain Pen Transparent with Silver Clip. And I got it from the CZX WYST Pen Store. So that is what this is.
All right, so this has been thoroughly cleaned. I've allowed it to dry overnight. You can still see a little water condensation stuck in the feed, but I am not sure with this pin there's any good way to remove that. I'm gonna go ahead and do my first fill with platinum carbon ink. This is one of my favorite fountain pen inks and I even use it in some of my brush pens. So I've got the piston all the way down. I've got the cap up. And this is one of those pins I've noticed that really needs two draws in order to get a good full fill. So we're gonna depress it all the way down and then, no, I guess not. Wow, it's just really not, really not taking all that ink. Give me a second, I guess I'm gonna end up making a mess. Cause with this bottle, it's got an ink catch in it. So you turn it over to refill the ink catch. All right, let's try to get a nice full fill this time. And I apologize for the viewing angle. Hmm, it does not want to. There could just be no more ink, not enough ink in the cup. Yeah, that's what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna wipe that off. And I'm gonna hold this over because I want to, actually I might move it out of y'all's vision, unfortunately, but I need to line up. There we go. All right, now it has been locked into position. And do we have a paper for this? Do we, do we, do we, do we? Oh. I guess some cardstock will do for now. Probably not really. I know the real fountain pen enthusiasts are cringing over there. Let's get you guys like right on top of it. Whoa, nice. All right. No real flex, but so far it's a very easy fluid writer. Can keep up with fast strokes as well, which is unusual for a lot of fountain pens. I mean, I've just been scribbling away. No real problems. I bet you, I bet you this um, platinum black carbon ink is going to be a huge pain in the butt to get out though. This is gonna be one of those pens that takes a million years to clean. And I bet, I bet, see where those threads are? If it will focus for y'all, which it might not do. Anyway, there's threads up here and um, not sure how well y'all can see them. But if someone else is brave or strong enough to separate that section, it would actually be a lot easier to um, clean out it with something stubborn like a pigment base ink. Anyway, this is a pretty cool little pen. The ring says Made in China in the font that I can only think of as the dollar bill font, which I am sure if my camera doesn't feel like focusing today, you're not gonna see it, no. But it is a pretty cool little fountain pen. It seems like it's gonna be an easy writer and it's got a recessed nib, so that's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this little look at this fairly inexpensive little fountain pen. It seems like it's trying to be a Twisby, but that doesn't have to be a bad thing. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, check out my other fountain pen videos and check out my fountain pen blog at onceuponatine.tumblr.com. I have a lot of ink compatibility tests, which you guys will probably enjoy. So thank you guys so much for watching.